What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. A panda here, and today we are doing a little bit of GVG in Watcher of Realms. Um, so I, you know, I figured you guys seem to like the the last GVGs we did. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in and do a little bit of uh, sort of up to date information on what I'm currently using as a defense. Um, as well as doing at least one or two of my offensive battles, maybe more, depending on how long it takes. Um, so this is currently my setup. Um, I am enjoying it. I do think there's a couple little changes I want to make, um, specifically in this top team. I feel like this bottom team is in a good spot, um, <clears throat> but I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. Um, so we'll come in here. This is my first team. Uh, you'll see we're running the four nightmare bonus. <clears throat> we're using two ground units uh, that are built, you know, to be pretty survivable. But we also have a healer in Vortex because my Wrath isn't A5 yet. Uh, and so because of that, he's not quite as survivable, which is why he's in the front line. Um, because he can kind of hold them off a little bit while Ape Mom gets to build up to his ultimate and gets lots of survivability built in because of that. Um, and then, of course, our main DPS here is, of course, going to be Hats. Um, and we have Volca in the background to just pro provide a little bit of extra block, uh, but also to provide that healing that she brings, um, as well as, of course, the fourth Nightmare unit. Um, so this is the setup that I currently have using for this team. Um, <clears throat> the reason that I'm thinking about potentially changing something is I really like the idea of putting a Valkyra in this last spot. Um, because of her range being able to hit this frontline area during her ult she'd be able to hit all the way over to this tile with her ult down she'd be able to hit to this tile and odds are either wrath is going to die at some point or wrath is not going to be able to block all of the opponents and they're going to come and hit abomination and then eventually come hit valkra i wanted to test it like this to see if the nightmare bonus actually made a huge difference uh, in terms of the DPS that I was able to put out. Uh, but I do think that Valkyra might potentially be viable because at the moment Volca just kind of sits here um, and isn't really doing much for a good, you know, decent amount of time. But I do have some, you know, pretty cool, uh, a pretty cool piece of content for you guys to see here. Um, and it's about this first team. We actually got our first win on defense with this first team. So we're going to play it so you can kind of see what exactly happened. You'll see here that they are actually using a pretty common strat, which is the several tanks followed by the Explodey Beetles. Um, and you'd think that the Explodey Beetles would actually cause a problem for my team because I'm relatively stacked. But you'll see here that Hats is able to handle those Beetles before they even get close to us, uh, which is really, really powerful. Of course, you do see that our Wrath does die. Once he gets A5, I think he'll survive quite a bit more. And we're about a week away from that. So once that happens, he'll be a whole nother beast. Um, but you'll see here that Hats is a pretty strong DPS. And of course, with the four Nightmare bonus, it's even better because she's attacking incredibly, incredibly quickly. Um, but of course, you'll also see Volca never does anything. She literally does absolutely nothing in this fight other than be there and provide that Nightmare buff. So I do think I'm going to try the Valkyra strat in the next one and see if that feels any better. But of course, we'll continue to evaluate during this fight and see if it continues to do well. If it does, we might just keep it that way. Then, of course, we have our second team here. Um, and I like this second team for a couple different reasons. I think the first reason is, is we're able to bring three DPS to this fight. Um one of which is an AoE champion in Zealous, and two of which are single targets, one physical and one magical, while also still having two ground units with Zillatu and Olag. Uh, and you'll see that we did things a little bit different here. We have our Zealous here. And the important thing here, guys, is, as I talked about in previous GVG videos in regards to the archers, is that the archers will target the first thing on the map. So if I were to place Zealous here, sure, I would get more range and I'd be able to hit sooner, but then the archers would target him. Because he's on the same line as Olog, they're going to target Olog first because he will be closer when they get close enough to attack. So this is something to keep in mind when you're setting up your defenses. You want to make sure that your uh, allies are all in the same front line so that your tank is the one that gets targeted first. That'll kind of help prevent them from being able to archer your defense right uh, and then of course we have Zillatu here who's able to deal some damage while Olog is tanking uh, my Olog does also have an Olog's wall uh, which means he has a total of four block and 
Unfortunately, he will ultimate, which means he's going to end up having additional block from his ultimate as well. So even though we only have two ground units, we actually have a total of seven block, I think, when his ultimate is up. Um, and of course, we have Idril here in the back. We mainly put Idril here in the back because when she does have her ultimate, uh, she doesn't need to be, you know, up in this front area. And of course, Midan is here to kind of keep them all healed. Um, she does also have an Invigoration set on now that I picked up from clearing uh, Gear A220. So, you know, there might be a... I don't know how Invigoration works here because I haven't seen it play out yet. But maybe we'll get lucky and that'll land on our Zilla 2. Um, but it could technically land on any of our DPS, which would be nice. We have a pretty good chance that it's going to land on one of our three DPS. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we haven't had anyone attack us so far for the second team. But overall, one win is great. Uh, I'm definitely excited to see how well we can do. But let's go ahead and dive into some offense. Um, I haven't actually checked out any of my opponents here. Um, let's see. Maybe. There we go. Okay, yeah, so this should, I should be able to beat this. There's no healer, um, and we should be able to just archer the Greed and the Twin Fiend. We'll see. I'm not super positive it will work, but I think we'll have a good chance. So we'll go ahead and give this a try. This is live, guys. I'm not going to edit it or anything, so you're going to see exactly how I play this fight, um, and we'll see what happens. So first things first, of course, we're going to start with placing our big boys. Um... And then we will, of course, place down our archers. And all the ultimates are used. And there's Greed. And there's Twin Fiend. We'll send some Flyboys. Oh, the Maul ultimate. Okay, we could still win this, though. They don't have a healer. Um... Should have waited a little longer on placing those, but we should still be okay. So we'll wait till we get close to 10. We'll drop our tank boy. That's fine. All right. And then we'll just walk right through. Easy. Yeah, so this is this is what I'm talking about when I say, you know, that you, you don't want to have your your front line be behind your DPS or your healers because you're able to be picked off very easily um, with the archers. And I think this is a pretty common understanding so far in in GVG for those people who are around the content creator, um, you know, area. But um, let's I want to see if auto fight works. I want to see how it works. It will stop it um, if it doesn't work well. We should be able to stop, right? Yeah. So let's see how it does it. Does it do it exactly? Okay, okay. Yep, and then it drops Archer. Archer, perfect. Greed's down. Twin Feed's dead. Beautiful. It still makes the same mistake, of course, because that's how we did it. Okay, it did drop. I heard a lot of people saying it only did the first attack that they did. So, like, it wouldn't have dropped this whole second wave. But yeah, it looks like it did literally the exact same thing that I did. Um, which is nice. That's good to know. Once you get a successful run, you don't have to worry about trying to time it out again in a second fight. You can just do auto fight, and it looks like it does exactly the, the same fight you did before. Which is good to know. Good to know for sure. Um, so, there's two successful fights. We definitely take those. Let's check out here. What does this look like? Same thing, guys. Same thing. We're going to kill Nocturne, followed by Hats real quick. Here we go. <clears throat> this does have an Elowin, uh, which could prove to be slightly difficult. Um, but I don't think we'll have too much difficulty because Nocturne will die pretty quickly. And by the time Nocturne's dead, Hats should be out of invisibility. And so we should be able to hit her right away as well drop drop yep and hats is dead perfect and then we'll just send him along without any care in the world because he's they're just gonna die so there it is 
that one was even easier than I was expecting. Um, we kind of destroyed their wrath with our archers. These archers are very powerful, guys. They are incredibly strong. And mine are only level two, uh, which I think is another crazy thing. Um, you know, they're not even, you know, level five where they're going to get even stronger with that additional talent. Um, I did get a couple extra drops of the um, archer, and, and now I'm kind of curious. I'm wondering if I can actually level them up. So maybe after we do this this second fight here, we'll go check and see. I might, I might have enough to level them up so they'll be even stronger, but we will see. Yeah, we just one shot all of their their ranged guys just one shot them beautiful 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 <clears throat> all righty let's go check out our demon soldiers real quick because i have had a couple drops um i did also get a drop of our tank guy our, our epic tank um so we can go or not tank i'm sorry but the the fighter that we use as a tank uh can we get an upgrade no we can't how close are we Oh, we only have 10. Okay, I thought we were closer. But yeah, once he gets here, I guess this is actually defense. So he actually doesn't get anything crazy from this. Um, it's not the end of the world. But then here, we're also... Yeah, we're 10 away from this. Uh, and he gets 25% HP when he gets to level 5. So we definitely are excited about that. Um, but alright, let's 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 see if we can find a couple more people to, uh, to take out. Let's look at this squad... So this is set up properly, right? This is set up properly because we're going to go straight to targeting um, Olag. So I'm going to be a little safe. I'm going to let someone who has better... Um, here we go. This will be easy. This should be an easy one. Um, does the auto fight work here too? Does it do exactly the same thing? Huh. Let's find out. If it doesn't, we'll take it off auto. Oh, so far so good. Okay. It looks like it's doing the same thing. Pop, 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 pop. Beautiful. Easy. I don't think they had gear on. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think these guys had gear. Um, which, P <laughs> PSA, guys. Uh huh. Make sure your, your characters that are in your GVG defenses have gear. Um, I made that mistake, unfortunately, in uh, our first war. I thought that it started later than it did. Um, and so I did not. Can we see? I'm assuming we can't. Yeah, no, we can't see. Um, but uh, I, I, I thought that it started later, so I thought I could AFK farm overnight. And then when I woke up, I'd be able to put gear on. And by the time I woke up... Um, <laughs> I was destroyed. I, they killed me so easily. So definitely make sure you guys have gear on your champions, um, at least until, you know, even if it's you know not the best gear you have, um, probably should be the best gear you have, of course, because you want to be able to do, you know, better things and, and be more difficult to take out, of course. But um, yeah, so there is, I think that was our sixth fight. Um, so we should, we have two more that we can try to do here, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think we have two more fights. We do have two more fights. So we're going to leave this last team here for someone who has the the bombers because I do not. This should be an easy fight for us to pick off. Yeah, no healer. I mean, you know, this has got to be people who aren't in the content creator scene because I feel like it's a pretty commonplace thing to to know not to, to place this line. Maybe I'm the first person I, I, to realize it. I don't know. Um, I haven't watched everyone's GVG content, but I, I know there's been quite a few people who have made comments about these archer guys. Um, and yeah, there we go. A nice easy win. That's awesome though. We went, we're going to go eight and zero because of course we're going to fight this same guy again, um, and get our eight and O here. Um, and that's really exciting. And of course we have one victory already on our defense. So I'm excited to see if we can get some more victories there. Um, maybe we'll come back and do a, uh, you know, a recap of, you know, how exactly this, uh, this the fight in GVD went. Um, that could be an interesting video to kind of go over it. We can maybe look at some other people's defenses, how well they did, uh, and kind of compare, um, there are some strategies that, you know, I'm going to keep, of course, to, you know, specific to our guild 
Um, but you know, this is the stuff that I've talked about is stuff that's sort of widely known, at least from what I understand, I've seen it talked about in various discords, various streams. Um, so it's not anything specific to us. Um, like the, the archers, for example, but yeah, that is an eight and no victory. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I, I will say something that is important and, and this will probably be the last thing before we end the video off is make sure you guys are rechecking your demon soldiers, right? We just went through and we double checked and made sure, you know, that we didn't have any upgrades because I had forgot about that at the start, right? So make sure you're coming in here and you're upgrading everything. And the reason I say this is because sometimes you'll find that you have a higher champion that you can use, a higher BP champion that you can use on a character. For example, I just six starred my Valkra. And so my Valkra is insane with her BP. I mean, look at this BP. It's ridiculous, right? I did not realize how high her BP was. Um, so I came in here and I was able to move some stuff around and get a little bit more power on my team. Uh, so much so that, you know, I'm at 241k before I was at about 150, 160. Um, so just in, in, a, in a week or so of farming and getting some Demon Soldier upgrades and making a new six star, I was able to get a lot of power in guild wars which is very very interesting so of course we are currently in uh the we're, we're a little behind in the guild war currently but i think my eight and zero there was definitely helpful so hopefully we can come back and and get the w um but guys if you like this video and you want to see more stuff like this please don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment down below of how well you're doing in your gvg and who's your favorite demon soldier so far i gotta say i think mine is still probably those archers i think it's it's just so beautiful and the timing is great they're you know barely can tell there's two of them sometimes if you like more con if you like my content and you want to see more of it in the future please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace